Hello guys, it's Precious again and we are moving smoothly. So in this video we will be writing our first line of code and we will try to understand the syntax of C by explaining everything that we type out. So the first thing we need to do is let's create a C program called Hello World because this is going to be our first serious code in C. So I'll call this 001. This is so that I, I want a proper arrangement of all my codes so that you can I can send them to you or you could download them later on. So 001 hello world dot C. All your files should end with dot C. Now in our hello world file, we are going to write a proper C code. And the first thing you would write in any C code is you have to use the include. And what does include mean? So what does include does? Include is your preprocessor keyword. And it's a directive that tells C to look for a particular file in a location. It does some preparation before your code is compiled. And an example of a file that you put in the inside of that an include file is going to pull out for you is the standard input and output header. So this is a file that helps you to perform a standard input or output um, response. So let's go. So we are including STD. IO, which is which call, which which means standard input or output dot h, which means header. So we are including this header file that will help us to perform simple input and output um, processes. Now you may ask why the angle brackets. The angle brackets tell C in which folder to look for. So when you put your angle bracket here, you are telling C to look for it inside of um, inside of an, another folder instead of the current one if you installed mingw you would notice that your include files are inside of this folder so let me look for our include files if you go to i installed mine in c mingw so this is what we are calling include and include is going to look inside of this folder and look for that file that we are telling it to look for so if it's std dot stdio dot h it's going to look for that file inside of this folder all right now let's go back to the program so if you put an apostrophe here then you are telling c to look for it inside of this folder called c file where the program is being typed initially instead of before it goes out you are telling c to look for it here but we don't have it here so that is why we don't use this c is going to look for it in the default include folder and that is why the angle bracket is there the next thing is every c program must have a main a main function and this is how you write a function i will show you very soon why int may not be needed but we could always leave it there the main function every c program must have a main function and it shows that the execution of a program starts and ends with a main function and for every program you have one main function so everything that we are going to do will be inside of the main function all our program will be executed inside of the main function so let's write a simple code. Print f. Print f is how you output stuff on your C program. It's for outputting. Now let's type a low word. Then the next thing you need to know is the return. All C program must come back with a return so return zero means that this program was run successfully return one or any other response means that the program did not run successfully so when you have zero in your output it means that your program ran successfully you can send in other type of response but zero means your program was run successfully 
and it returns a numeric value, zero or one or whatever. That is why you have to use the int here. So if I take out int and I run this program, you see that it still runs. But it is important that you put the int so that the program knows that the data type which we will explain in upcoming videos, the data type is a number. So int main hello world. But before I close this video, I also want to introduce you to another command that is used to complete the execution of a program, and it is called the exit keyword. So to use exit, we have to include another file, and that file is called standard lib std, standard library, I suppose, std lib dot h then we can use the exit so exit is used to stop a program let's see it in action let's see i have two hello world so the first one is hello world the other one is hello world precious right save let's see what it outputs on our program as you can see we have both of them we have hello world and we have hello world precious but we can use exit to ensure that the second print f does not run and this is how you do it you put in exit you also send in the response zero close it and save and let's see what runs on the terminal just watch the terminal the output as you can see we only have a low world because we stopped the execution of the program here we exited out of the program so this one is not going to run. You can also send other kind of output. One, save, exit, and you see it still runs, but you see now your code says one. Previously, your code was saying zero, but now the output says one. So you can use exit and return interchangeably, but exit is going to stop the execution of your program. And to use exit, you have to include the stdlib.h file. So that is that on your first program in C called Hello World. And I've been able to explain to you the syntax, how to include, why you use main, why you use the angled brackets, and why you should use the return and the exit keyword. So I'll see you in the next video where we'll go deeper into C programming. Thank you.